Hi, I'm Mr. Watts. I'm, I'm a resident here in Brooksville. We have two children that attend the school. And I'd like to say thank you for the board for, for being here for the debate tonight. And what a civics lesson this was. And what a great nation we live in to be able to be here tonight and put the debate to the test. Now it's on to my personal agenda tonight. I'm here to advocate for my child, who is an ESE student. This year he's been moved from the least restrictive setting to the most restrictive setting. And has been given, had he been given the support that he needed in a general ed class, I would not be here tonight. After a recent visit to the, to the new classroom, it resembles a storage unit with no emotional materials to stimulate a child's mind. And Mr. Stratton, you denied this earlier. You got this opportunity to see this classroom when you and I and the principal met. You chose not to see it. Our child has been treated differently due to his disability. He is treated as a different class of children. His classroom does not resemble those of his peers. They have certified teachers. Our child has a substitute that is not a certified teacher. The ABA, the IDEA, would consider this a discriminatory action. We are sure that it is the same in every ESE seclusion classroom in our county. You have all been here a long time and have ignored your responsibilities. That does not include Mrs. Rodriguez. She has joined our family in our plight and is a new board member. Has your legal counsel not giving you any advice. Please go and visit the classroom. Mrs. Rodriguez has. She shares our same family values. Jesus healed the lame, fed the hungry, did not shame them for being different. Our child has been treated this whole school year as a different child. He's been suspended for being him. Thank you.